Please be seated. Good evening and welcome to the 2023 Troy University Honors Convocation. My name is Lance Tatum and I serve as the Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. Tonight we celebrate student academic achievement. And we are honored that the students that we celebrate tonight have excelled both during this academic year and throughout their time at Troy University. When a student begins their academic career, in a sense, they embark on a journey. And when we begin any journey, we need a guide. On this journey, our faculty serve as the student's guide. Faculty lead students on pathways of discovery to realizations and to knowledge. Not only do faculty lead in the classroom, guiding students to where they need to go intellectually, but they also lead by example, striving forward with discoveries in research and scholarship. Simply put, from our faculty, the quest for learning is imparted to our students. So, to our faculty, tonight we also celebrate your efforts and the impact you have made on our students. To the family and friends joining us tonight, you have the opportunity to glow in your students' accomplishments. And we are delighted you have elected to share in our pride as we celebrate the remarkable achievements of these students. And finally, to our students, in every way, you are the reason we are here. You are our purpose. You are our mission. No matter how many scholarships or awards that are established no matter how well our faculty teach and lead, and no matter how much support you receive from your families and friends, it is you who achieve. You are the ones awake late in the evening preparing for exams and writing papers. You are balancing personal, co-curricula, and life's challenges with the steadfastness of, and determination to excel. To each of you, we say congratulations. I would ask that you please stand for the invocation. Our invocation this evening will be delivered by Miss Ella Beth Kirkland. Please bow with me. God, we thank you for the opportunity to gather and to celebrate the achievements of our fellow Troy students. Lord, we're thankful for the gift of learning and for the educators who have invested so much in us. And we know that every good thing we possess comes from above, from you. So for all these blessings and for many more, God, we give you honor and thanks. God, I pray that uh, you, you bless and multiply every effort as we continue to strive toward excellence and that you are glorified and honored in all that we do. It's in your son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. 
Amen. Amen. Please be seated. There are always a number of people that we recognize and like to thank at tonight's event, but I'd like to take at this time an opportunity to welcome and recognize Troy University's First Lady, Mrs. Janice Hawkins. Mrs. Hawkins, would you please stand and allow us to acknowledge you for the many contributions you make to Troy University. As I've stated earlier, tonight's Honors Convocation recognizes outstanding achievement and the quality of individuals who both attend and work at Troy University. Since his arrival on campus, our Chancellor has placed excellence and quality as the foundation for all we do. At this time, it is now my pleasure to present the Chancellor of Troy University, Dr. Jack Hawkins, Jr. Thank you uh, so much, uh, Dr. Tatum, and what a pleasure it is for me on behalf of the university to welcome all of you to one of the most important events uh, that uh, this university hosts each year. So thank you for your presence, and thank you for sharing your loved ones with us. And I would be remiss, too, if I didn't say to Dr. Lance Tatum uh, how much all of us appreciate him and the focus that he's placed on academic excellence. Uh, we lose him in the near future. Uh, but another institution will certainly gain. He leaves us uh, in May, late May, to go and become the pre new president of the Northwest Missouri State University. And so, Dr. Tatum, on behalf of this uh, entire university family, would you please stand and let us say thank you. This is truly an opportunity for us to recognize the very best and the brightest of Troy University. We serve somewhere in the range of 16 and a half to 17,000 students, and those who will be recognized tonight uh, are among the very, very best of the best. They couldn't get there by themselves, though. I think there are two very, very important constituencies that are with us tonight. The first, the faculty who sit behind me, but I'm going to ask them to stand up and let us say to them, thank you for a job well done. So would the faculty members please stand up and let us say thank you. Thank you, but there is a, another group that's probably the most important in the entire auditorium, the families of our graduates or our students rather. And I'd like for all the family members who are, who've honored us tonight to stand up and let all of us say thank you. Thank you for sharing your loved ones with us. So family members. Thank you so, so very much. We have had a great year at Troy University. I know We've come out of a very difficult period in, in, in the history of America and around the world, but things are becoming more normal than they have been in the last few years. It was a great year. For the 18th year in a row, Princeton Review recognized Troy University as among the very best colleges and universities in the southeastern part of this country. U.S. News and World ranked Troy the 17th public best in the South. Our journalism program continues to be a star, ranked number six in America, our accounting program number 16, psychology number 21. We are a patriotic place and we make no excuses for that. We're very proud of the service that we render this great country and I was very, very proud, all of us were, when Military Times ranked Troy number one in Alabama as best for vets and so we are dedicated to those men and women who serve this country and we're very mindful that freedom is not free. It takes a sacrifice by so many people to give us the liberty and the freedom that we enjoy. Sometimes take for granted, I'm afraid, but this is a great, great country and we're so proud of our service to those uh, warriors who represent us. I hope all of you have seen uh, some of the new construction going up across campus. Let me just give you a quick snapshot as to what that means. On the quad about 200 meters from where we are tonight, 
Chicago is a new research center that in my estimation will change the trajectory of Troy University. We've always done well in teaching and in public service, but to get into research where we're helping to find new solutions to old problems, that's when we fully mature as a university. And that's what that building represents to all of us. It's a symbol, it begins there, it will not end there. And we're so proud of the work that we're doing with local industry and it will continue to grow across campus. Those interested in healthcare, and I think uh, the older I get, the more interested I'm in, I have uh, in, in healthcare. We have a new health science building. It'll be the new home for our College of Health and Human Services, a new home for nursing, kinesiology, exercise science, athletic training, and other disciplines yet to come. And we are so, so important. And incidentally, there's a major investment being made in our baseball facility too. We not only want to win the Sun Belt Conference, we want to go to Omaha and compete for the national championship. And I think that's exactly where this university is going. Hope those of you who uh, like athletics followed our football team, who would have thought we would be ranked number 19, but that's not our goal. Our goal is to compete for a national championship. Why not Troy is what we say. Why not Troy? It's been a great year. You can't do that without great faculty, great students, great supporters, great families, and I want to thank all of you. Uh, we are here to honor those who have truly achieved, uh, and it's my honor to introduce to you a gentleman who has achieved. Forty-three years ago, he was where you students are. He was a student at Troy University. He was preparing to graduate. He did so with honors, and uh, he made a, a real, real deep footprint on this campus. He understands exactly where you are. And he had a great vision for his life. When he graduated, he initially went into radio broadcasting. And you'll see that and hear that momentarily. But then he reconsidered. He did a student exchange at Oxford in England and then became convinced he wanted to go into law, which he did. He earned in 1983, his degree from Cumberland School of Law. Today is a partner with one of the most prestigious law firms in Alabama, Burr Foreman. He's been cited consistently by the publication, The Best Lawyers in America, for his work in litigation and insurance law. He's the president of the Mobile Bar Association and sits on both the Alabama Board of Bar Examiners and the Alabama Rules of Evidence Committee. He was, and it was our good day, when he was appointed by the governor in 2005 to serve on our board of trustees. And so for 18 years, he has served with great distinction. He is the chairman of our Institutional Advancement Committee and is the vice chair of the Academic Affairs Committee. And I think that's representative of his focus on quality. He's been a strong advocate throughout his life for quality and excellence. And in fact, I often say the, most, the best barometer for what an institution can do is what it has done in its alumni. And we're so proud of all of our alumni. We have about 165,000 worldwide, and we've graduated successful people now since we began in 1887. So you know how many people we've graduated from this institution and the impact it's had. We've even had four astronauts, hundreds of, of general officers, uh, thousands of attorneys and doctors and healthcare professionals, and the, the list goes on and on and on. Forrest Latta is among the very tops of all those we've graduated. He is the epitome of one who loves to learn. It's our honor to have uh, Mr. Latta here with us tonight. Please welcome home a true Trojan, Mr. Forrest Latta. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate that wonderful introduction. Chancellor Hawkins, distinguished faculty, all of you that are being honored here tonight, uh, the, the parents who are in attendance tonight, uh, many of you that I recognize and, uh, and I, I see my friend uh, Judge Zach Moore out there in the audience from Mobile. Uh, it's good to see all of you and, and what a privilege it is to be a part of this event in your life tonight. I still remember what it was like to sit 
uh, out there in, in uh, the audience and what it felt like to rub shoulders with some of the best of the best from the Troy University campus. Um, and I was thinking about this, that you may not realize it, you who are still students here, you're sitting beside future generals and admirals, CEOs and CFOs, judges and lawyers, teachers, professors, doctors, uh, mayors, other public leaders. And, and you know how I know this is because I've followed the careers of many of my own classmates and fellow students from when I was here. And there's a, a, an important lesson here tonight, and that is whatever you do in life, find the best people and hang out with them. When we surround ourselves with great people, it makes us better. I was thinking about uh, this event tonight uh, a couple of weeks ago when I was uh, traveling. My wife and I were able to go to Italy for two weeks. Um, the birthplace of the Renaissance. Some of you, I hope, have had the opportunity to be there, and many of you will still yet go. But uh, of course, we encountered the usual mishaps of canceled flights, uh, lost luggage. My wife's suitcase was two days late arriving in Italy. <laughs> she was not happy. Um, and then there was the time I left my cell phone on a tour bus. Um, the good news is it found its way back to me. It was just almost a miracle and a story in and of itself. But I came home reminded of how foreign travel is one of those experiences from which you always return as a different person. I was amazed to read this week that Troy now has over 400 study abroad programs. And that's incredible. So I was thinking of tonight's event and I was thinking about what happens when you gather a group of great minds together. Well, that's what happened in Florence many years ago when in a moment in time there was this convergence of so many great minds all feeding off of each other and inspiring each other to be better that it produced an explosion of ideas that launched the Renaissance. And that included giant leaps in architecture, astronomy, mathematics, art, sculpture, philosophy, and science. Many of you have been to Florence, and you know what I mean. It's just an amazing place. Can I just say as an aside, single block marble sculpture must be the hardest, most difficult art form of all. Would you agree with that? I mean, for Michelangelo to be able to see a, just a block of marble left over from construction of the cathedral there, and be able to picture inside that block of marble the figure of David that he was able to carve with hand tools and no modern technology and know that if you just as much as broke a finger off of it, <laughs> the whole thing would be ruined. Uh, that just must be the highest form of art I think that there, must, that there is. I, I've debated about number two and number three, but you're all thinking people. I would love to get your thoughts on that. Florence is just amazing, and I can think of other times and other places where there's been a convergence of great minds that have produced similar types of events. One that I think of often is England in the 1600s, when Shakespeare and others were pushing the boundaries of English expression, raising the bar to new heights, including even influencing the language of the King James Version of the Bible, which came out right about the same time. I think we're living in another such time now in what we've seen with the convergence of great minds out in Silicon Valley, California, that's produced a technology revolution. All of them feeding off of each other, competing with each other to create this amazing technological advancement we've seen and it's not over yet. We're hearing stories about artificial intelligence which may change our world in more ways than we have ever seen before. I wish I could talk with each one of you and, and hear the story of what your experience has been like here at Troy, and particularly the path that brought you here tonight. I'm sure it has something to do with uh, the professors and teachers who have inspired you. And one of the things that I'm most proud of in my role on the Board of Trustees is the brilliant faculty we have at Troy. 
Uh, I was reading a book by Adam Grant recently. He's a commentator on education and just generally philosophy and ideas in general. And he, he said, good teachers introduce you to great thoughts. But great teachers introduce you to new ways of thinking. And Troy is blessed to have a wonderful team of great teachers and professors under the leadership of one of America's longest serving chancellors. He's been a transformative leader for this campus. Uh, it's been a pleasure to serve with uh, Dr. Hawkins and I'm just so proud of what we're seeing happen even today on the Troy campus. Well, I know we have many honors to give out, but let me just leave you with just two pieces of advice. First, as I said at the outset, learn to find the best people in your circle and hang out with them. It's true that we're all a reflection of the company we keep. One secret I can share about connecting with others is what I call making the first move. When you see somebody who you think you'd like to know better, who impresses you, Take the initiative and just go up and introduce yourself. It takes a little bit of courage at first until you get in the habit, but nobody, nobody is ever offended to hear you say, I saw you and I wanted to meet you. Secondly, don't let your life be defined by your paycheck. If you do, your happiness will be tied to the ups and downs of the job market, or worse yet, of the things you own. You've heard it said before, and it's true, the keys to economic mobility in America are education and hard work. Education and hard work. Everybody respects those things. But it's what happens in your mind that defines the person you become. Tonight, in this room full of scholars, I hope you'll make it one of your goals to keep investing in the life of the mind, to continue on this path of learning for your whole life. That doesn't necessarily mean formal classes. You know, like travel leaves you a different person. The same is true of reading a great book, of seeing a great movie, of watching a live theater production. Those are the kinds of things that teach you what it means to be human, and they shape the person that you become. And it's those things that are going to give you the wisdom, the character, and the mental flexibility to be able to adapt to a changing world. Troy is a lot of things, a lot of great things, and one of them is the culture of building character, of building self-confidence, of taking great people and turning them into leaders. Tonight, you're being recognized as one of those people, and I hope you'll carry it with you for the rest of your life. It's up to you to make it so. Thank you for the honor to speak tonight, and congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Mr. Ladder, for sharing your thoughts and we thank you for your service to Troy University. We will now begin the recognition of our honorees. The recognition of individual awards will begin with the College of Arts and Sciences. Presenting awards in the College of Arts and Sciences will begin with Dr. Stephen Taylor. Dr. Taylor. Good evening. My name is Stephen Taylor and I serve as the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences and it's my pleasure to introduce the college tonight uh, and to recognize the students within my college who are receiving honors this evening. First, we're going to start by recognizing the inductees into honor societies. I'm now going to name uh, our honor societies in the college. I'd ask the new members to stand, and then we're going to wait and, and recognize them all as a group. And I'll start with Eps Alpha, Epsilon, Delta, Beta. If you're an Epsilon, Alpha, Epsilon Delta, Beta, please stand. This is for excellence in pre-medical scholarship and to stimulate an appreciation of the importance of pre-medical education. Next is Beta 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 for biological science majors with superior academic records promoting biological research. Uh, next is Pi Gamma Mu for students demonstrating outstanding scholarship and service in social science. Next is Pi Mu Epsilon for excellence in mathematics and for the promotion of scholarly activity in mathematics. Then Pi Sigma Alpha 
to stimulate scholarship and intel in intelligent interest in political science. And finally, Alpha Pi, Phi Sigma, recognizing ex academic excellence of undergraduate and graduate students in criminal justice. Please recognize these inductees. Thank you, you may be seated. And now, at this time, we'd like to begin the recognition of individual honors in the college by inviting Ms. Janet Gadsden to the stage. The mission of Alpha Epsilon Delta Honor Society is to encourage and recognize excellence in a pre-medical scholarship to simulate an appreciation of the importance of pre-medical education and to promote communication between the medical and pre-medical students and educators, to provide a forum for students with common interest and to use its resources to benefit health organizations, charities, and the community. Each year, one AED member is selected that rep best represents the mission of the Honor Society. The 2023 recipient of the Alpha Epsilon Delta Award is Miss Allison Alexander. The Scholars Award is the highest honor presented to a student in the Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences. This award represents excellence in research, excellence in academics, and excellence in service. Each year, one student is selected that best represents excellence. The 2023 recipient of the Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences Scholars Award is Ms. Aubrey Stewart. The Beta 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 is a National Honor Society for Biological Science majors who have superior academic records. The society seeks to stimulate scholarship, disseminate scientific knowledge, and promote biological research. The 2023 recipient of the Beta 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 Leadership and Scholarship Award is Ms. Lauren Locke. Excuse me. The Nathan Alexander Memorial Phi Alpha Theta Scholastic Award recognizes the graduating history major with the highest cumulative GPA. This award is named in honor of the late Professor William Nathan Alexander, whose enthusiasm for historical scholarship, dedication to his students, colleagues, and Troy University inspired all of those who knew him. This year's recipient is Michaela Baker. Uh, unfortunately, Ms. Baker could not be here tonight. The G. Ray Mathis Memorial Award is given to the junior history major with the greatest promise for creative research and writing in history. This year's recipient is Mr. Brooks Stevenson. Leonard Y. Trapp Memorial Scholarship is given to a senior history education student for academic achievement and exceptional potential as a future teacher in the field of history. This year's recipient is Mr. Samuel Stinson. The 
Lewis Hopper Perpetual Scholarship was established by William F. Hopper, former senior vice president of financial affairs at Troy University, in honor of his father. It is the intent of the donor that the scholarship be presented to, quote, a hardworking history major who possesses the highest character. This year's recipient is Miss Callie Wiggins. The Epsilon Excellence in Leadership Award is given annually in recognition of the student in Pi Epsilon who has most demonstrated excellence in leadership to Pi Epsilon and its goals at Troy University. The recipient is chosen by a group of faculty from among the current members of the Troy chapter of Pi Epsilon Mathematics Honor Society who have been an integral part of the planning organization activities and overall success of our chapter. The recipient of this year's Pi Epsilon Excellence and Leadership Award is Thomas Benjamin. The James F. O'Neill Mathematics Education Award is given in honor of Mr. James O'Neill, who was a member of the Mathematics Department for 33 years and was chair for 16 years. The recipient of the James O'Neill Mathematics Award is chosen by the faculty of the Mathematics Department from among mathematics education students having the highest GPA in both mathematics and mathematics education courses. The recipient of the James O'Neill Mathematics Education Award for 2023 is Avi Etheridge. The Virgil L. Collins Mathematics Award is given in honor of Mr. Virgil L. Collins who served as chair of the mathematics department at Troy for 26 years. The recipient of this award is chosen by the faculty of the mathematics department from among those senior mathematics majors having the highest GPA in mathematics. It is in recognition of outstanding achievement in the field of mathematics. The recipient of the Virgil L. Collins Mathematics Award for 2023 is Thomas Benjamin. Lee Walden Computer Science Award is presented to the, the senior student who has shown the highest performance and attained the highest grade point average in the field of the computer science. This year's recipient is John Noah Tessier. Political Science Student of the Year Award is given annually to the student who best exemplifies the study of political science through high performance in academics and through his or her leadership contributions to the political science department, the university, and the community. This award is in honor of Dr. Sam Shelton, a political science faculty member who exemplifies excellence in teaching through both his knowledge and ability to connect with students. The 2023 Political Science Student of the Year is Mr. Wesley Goff Bagwell.
The Alpha Phi Sigma Distinguished Honors Graduate Prize was established by the late Dr. Charles L. Jones and is awarded annually to an outstanding graduating senior. The student must be a member of the Troy University's chapter of Alpha Phi Sigma and is selected by the criminal justice faculty. The award is based on grade point average, participation in criminal justice program activities, university life, and volunteer work. This year's award recipient is Ms. Lexi Scarber. Good evening. I'm Judson Edwards, Dean of the Sorrell College of Business, and it's truly my honor to serve as Dean of the Sorrell College, of which I'm an alma mater for me, and my pleasure to introduce the college tonight. I'd like to begin by asking the newly inducted members of the Honor Society and the Sorrell College to please stand and remain standing until you're recognized. Would members of Beta Gamma Sigma please stand? Founded in 1913, Beta Gamma Sigma is the International Business Honor Society exclusively for AACSB accredited schools. This comprises the top 5% of business schools in the world, which the Sorrell College of Business at Troy University proudly belongs. Would members of Eta Sigma Delta please stand? Eta Sigma Delta is the International Honor Society for Outstanding Hospitality and Tourism Management Students. Would members of Chi Sigma Mu please stand? This is the International Honor Society which represents the best students in sport management from COSMA accredited programs. Please let us recognize all the new Honor Society initiates in the Sorrell College with a round of applause. At this time, I'd like to begin the recognition of individual recipients by asking Dr. Harriet Dixon to please come forward. to be selected by Hospitality Sport and Tourism Management faculty for the Outstanding Hospitality Sport and Tourism Management Student Award, the student must set him or herself apart through demonstrated leadership, active engagement in hospitality sport or tourism industries, demonstrated ability to be successful, have senior status, and a GPA of at least 3.25. The 2023 Outstanding Hospitality Sport and Tourism Management Student Award is presented to Ms. Isabel Robledo. Good evening. Thank you all for being here with us tonight. I am Michael Thrasher, and I have the great privilege of being able to serve as Dean of the College of Communication and Fine Arts here at Troy University. Tonight, I would like to recognize this year's newly inducted members into the honor societies in the College of Communication and Fine Arts. And I'll ask the newly inducted members to stand as I read these uh, group names, ask you to hold your applause until all have been recognized. First, I would like to invite the new members of Sigma Tau Delta to please stand. This organization recognizes academic excellence in the field of English. Would like to recognize the new members of Lambda Pi Eta to stand at this time. This is the official Communication Studies Honor Society. And finally, we'd like to recognize the new members of Sigma Delta Pi, which is the National Collegiate Hispanic Honor Society. Please join me in congratulating these new members. At this time, I would like to go ahead and begin the recognition of our college's individual award recipients. And I would like to invite my colleague, 
Dr. Teresa Johnson to come forward to make our first presentation. Good evening. The Pi Lambda chapter of Sigma Tau Delta, the International Honorary English Society, was founded in Troy in 1972. As a former award recipient, I am honored to serve as advisor and present the 2023 Sigma Tau Delta Award to the graduating senior who best exemplifies the highest standards of academic excellence as well as leadership and service to Ashby Hendrickson. The Bernard E. Williams Award is presented annually to a student who in the estimation of the English department faculty is the best graduating English major. The Bernard E. Williams Award for 2023 goes to Ashby Hendrickson. The Modern Language Award goes to an outstanding student who excels in one or more languages offered here at Troy University. The 2023 recipient of the Modern Language Award is Adelis Figueroa Guzman. Selected by vote of a music department faculty from all eligible graduating seniors, the Outstanding Music Graduate Award is given to students who demonstrates outstanding scholarship by maintaining a GPA above 3.25, outstanding musicianship through excellence in solo and ensemble performance, and outstanding leadership through service to the School of Music. The recipient of the 2023 Outstanding Music Graduate Award is Madeline Grace Houston. Jamilong Achievement Award is a recognition of an outstanding student in both academics and music. The award is given to a student who demonstrates great character and leadership and maintains the highest GPA among graduating seniors who have been enrolled in the band at least two years. The Jamilong School uh, Achievement Award for 2023 is presented to Sabri Shelby Christine Kerlock. Established by the Coral Alumni, the William Dennison Coral Excellence Award is given to a graduate senior coral of vocal music education majors who has consistently exhibited excellence in the area of choral music education in the classroom through participation in audition ensemble, through leadership positions and service as a member of the choral leadership team. This year, the recipient for the William Dennison Choral Excellence Award is Sabri Sarah Lynn White.
The Outstanding Senior in Journalism and Communication Award is presented annually to the student who best exemplifies leadership and academic excellence in the Hall School of Journalism and Communication. The recipient is chosen by the Hall School faculty. This year's recipient is Marissa Lacey. The Department of Art and Design is proud to recognize our most outstanding student in scholarship and achievement in studio art, and that goes to McKinsey Teams. The Center for Design, Technology, and Industry Award of Excellence is given to a student every year for the highest achievement in GPA, portfolio, leadership, in and out of the classroom. The 2023 award is awarded to Ms. Marley Davis. David Dye Award for Excellence in Theater Artistry and Academics is named for Dr. O. David Dye, the originator of theater study as we know it at Troy University. Today, following the lead of Dr. Dye, students in the Department of Theater and Dance work diligently to model excellence in study, artistry, humanity, and outreach. This award is given each year to a theater graduate who exemplifies excellence in each of these areas, as well as significant involvement and leadership within the department. The 2023 recipient of the David Dye Award for Excellence in Theater Artistry and Academics is theater education major, Allison Grace Grant. The Award for Excellence in Dance Artistry and Scholarship is awarded annually to a student graduating with the Bachelor of Fine Arts in Dance. This honor is bestowed upon a student who exemplifies exceptional talent and ability in dance performance and artistry and demonstrates excellence in academic study, character, and humanity, and active outreach to share his or her abilities and ideas with others. In addition, the recipient must demonstrate sustained engagement and leadership within the BFA dance program and the Department of Theater and Dance. The 2023 recipient of the Award for Excellence in Dance Artistry and Scholarship is Ethan Tyler. Good evening. I'm Dr. Kerry Palmer, and it's my honor to serve as the Dean of the College of Education here at Troy, the college from which I received my music education degree nearly 30 years ago. The College of Education is home to two honor societies, and it's my pleasure to recognize the newest members of these two prestigious organizations. I would ask that inductees please stand and remain standing as I introduce your honor society. Kappa Delta Pi. Kappa Delta Pi is the oldest honor society at Troy University, recognizing outstanding contributions to education. Psi Chi. 
Our psychology honor society, Psychi, exists to advance the science of psychology and to encourage, stimulate, and maintain the scholarship of our psychology students. Please join me in congratulating these newest Kappa Delta Pi and Psy Chi inductees. At this time, we will recognize individual award recipients in the College of Education. I will begin by asking Ms. Kathy Lott to make our first presentation. Established in 1974, the W.P. Lewis Award is presented annually to a member of Kappa Delta Pi who exhibits outstanding academic achievement, leadership, and service. Dr. Lewis served in many year, for many years as a professor and a director of the graduate school. As a respected educator, this award honors Dr. Lewis each year for his exceptional contributions to Troy. The recipient of the 2023 W.P. Lewis Award is Taylor Freeman. In 1975, the R.H. Urin Award was established and is presented annually to an outstanding education major. Dr. R.H. Irwin held several key positions at Troy, including Chair of the Education Department, Psychology Department, Director of Graduate Studies, Registrar, and Director of Placements. Before he retired in the late 1960s, each year this award acknowledges his contributions and dedication to Troy. The recipient of the 2023 Irvin Award is Sarah Elizabeth Gunn. The Chelsea Ray Huggins Memorial Psy Chi Award for Outstanding Scholarship in Psychology is named for Chelsea Ray Huggins, who was a Troy University psychology major and member of Troy's Psy Chi chapter. With this award, we commemorate Chelsea's impact on the Troy community and her excellence in scholarship. Each spring, a faculty committee from the Department of Psychology selects a junior or senior psychology major who has demonstrated academic excellence and high levels of scholarly engagement. As faculty advisor to Troy's chapter of Psy Chi, I am happy to present this year's Chelsea Ray Huggins Memorial Psy Chi Award for Outstanding Scholarship in Psychology to Megan Shatteron. My name is Jay Garner, Dean of the College of Health and Human Services. It's my pleasure to introduce the College of Health and Human Services Honor Societies tonight. Will the new members of our Honor Societies stand, remain standing to be recognized? Phi Epsilon Kappa, for those outstanding students pursuing careers in health, physical education, recreation, or safety. Iota Tau Alpha, an honorary fraternity who's majoring in athletic training education who have attained the high level of scholarship. Phi Alpha, recognizing scholastic excellence in the field of social work. Tau Upsilon Alpha, recognizing academic excellence in the field of human services. And finally, Sigma Theta Tau, recognizing superior achievement in nursing and the commitment to the ideals of the nursing profession. Please let us recognize all the new Honor Society initiates of the College of Health and Human Services. At this time, I would like to begin the recognition of our college award recipients by asking Dr. Candy Howard Smith to make our first presentation.
faculty in the Department of Kinesiology and Health Promotion nominate and vote on worthy students for the Outstanding Student Award in Physical Education. The recipient must be involved in campus organizations, demonstrate quality characteristics of a leader and future teacher, and be well respected by faculty and peers. The 2023 Outstanding Student Award in Physical Education recipient is Julia Marie Brooks. The Outstanding Student Award in Exercise Science was voted on by the faculty of the Department of Kinesiology and Health Promotion and exemplifies leadership, excellence, and superior professional promise. This award is given to a student whose academic merit, dedication, and effort towards the field are exemplary. The recipient of the 2023 Outstanding Student Award in Exercise Science is Emily Ray Cordell. The Outstanding Human Services Award is presented to human services majors who not only exhibit the competencies of the National Organization for Human Services, but also have demonstrated high scholastic excellence and exceeded program standards. This year's recipient is Virginia, affectionately Jenny, Gunn. The Dr. Ray Baggett Memorial Scholarship is given annually to an athletic training student. Dr. Ray Baggett graduated from Troy University in 1956. Upon graduation, he was hired as the men's basketball athletic trainer at the United States Military Academy at West Point, where the coach was Bobby Knight. Dr. Baggett followed Bobby Knight to the University of Indiana, where he was, again, the men's basketball athletic trainer. In 1970, Dr. Baggett was offered the head athletic trainer for Indiana State University. He retired in 1996 and then served as an adjunct professor of athletic training at Troy University until his death in 2005. This year's recipient of the Dr. Ray S. Baggett Memorial Scholarship is Caitlin Lewing. James A. Whiteside MD Eminent Scholarship Award is given annually to a student in the athletic training program. Dr. Whiteside served as the team physician at Penn State from 1970 to 1992. He was then employed by Alabama Sports Medicine until 1996. He was then hired as team physician and eminent scholar at Troy University until his retirement in 2006. This year's recipient of the James A. Whiteside MD Eminent Scholarship is Aaliyah Walden. The Iota Theta Chapter of Sigma Theta Tall International Honor Society of Nursing recognizes and honors a Bachelor of Science in Nursing student who shows superior achievement in leadership and scholarship during their time in the BSN program. This year's recipient for the Outstanding Bachelor of Science in Nursing Student Award is Ashley Phillips.
The Iota Theta Chapter of Sigma Theta Tall International Honor Society for Nursing recognizes and honors an RM Mobility student who shows superior achievement in leadership and scholarship during their time in the RM Mobility program. This year's recipient for the Outstanding RM Mobility Student Award is Mariah Vance. The Troy University School of Nursing awards a graduating senior from the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program who has achieved a minimum of 3.25 GPA. This year's recipient for the Georgia Irene Gill Davis Award is Leah Ash. Good evening, my name is Dr. Marianne Templeton and I serve as the Associate Provost and Dean of the Graduate School. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the Graduate School this evening and to recognize the outstanding graduate student research here at Troy University. I begin tonight with the presentation of the Best Graduate Research Scholar Award. Students winning this award have demonstrated their ability to ask good questions, seek solutions, and quantify those solutions through solid research. Without good inquiry, knowledge cannot be advanced. This award demonstrates the individual's ability to not only increase his or her own knowledge, but also to expand the knowledge in the academy. It's my honor to present the 2023 Best Graduates Research Scholar Award to Rachel Davis for her thesis, Inner Teaching in Online Classes, a Comparison Between Synchronous and Asynchronous Discussion Styles. The political science department delivers two graduate programs, the Master of Public Administration and the Master of Science in International Relations. The department has created an award to recognize one student from each of these programs who exemplifies the highest academic and leadership standards expected of students in an advanced degree program at Troy University. The Master of Public Administration degree prepares students to excel in careers as administrators in public service whether that's in the public, contracting, or nonprofit sectors. The 2023 Master of Public Administration Student of the Year Award goes to Ms. Uzuba Harim. The Master of Science in International Relations degree is designed to provide students the foundation and knowledge to meet the challenges of the ever-changing relationships among the nations of the world. This award is in memory of Dr. James Reinhardt. Dr. Reinhardt received his PhD in International Relations from the Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs at Syracuse University. Dr. Reinhardt served as director of the Master of Science in International Relations program chair of the Department of Political Science, and was dean of the College of Arts and Sciences when he passed away in 2015. The recipient of the 2023 James F. Reinhardt Award, MSIR Student of the Year, is Mr. Andrew Bowie. The Iota Theta Chapter of Sigma Theta Tall International Honor Society of Nursing recognizes and honors a Master's of Science student who shows superior achievement in leadership and scholarship during their time in the Master's of Science Nursing Program. This year's recipient for the Outstanding Master's of Science Student Award is Alexa Atchley.
The Iota Theta Chapter of Sigma Theta Tall International Honor Society of Nursing recognizes and honors a doctorate of nursing practice student who shows superior achievement in leadership and scholarship during their time in the Doctor of Nursing Practice Program. This year's recipient for the Outstanding Doctor of Nursing Practice Student Award is Morgan Sewell. I'm Dr. Hal Fulmer. I serve Troy University as the Associate Provost and Dean of Undergraduate and First Year Studies. We come to that portion of our program where we will recognize students who have achieved success across a variety of interdisciplinary fields. We want to recognize those students who've been selected into programs and honor societies during this past year. As I recognize uh, these program and honor societies and new members, I would ask that the members stand and remain standing and that we might recognize them all at the end with applause. The 87 recognizes outstanding campus leaders. Would the new members of the 87 please stand? The Order of Omega recognizes outstanding Greek leaders. Would those members of the Order of Omega please stand? Alpha Lambda Delta recognizes our students who have superior scholarship in their first year and this organization assists them as they develop meaningful goals as a university student. Would our Alpha Lambda Delta students please stand? Omicron Delta Kappa recognizes juniors and seniors for exemplary character and superior scholarship, leadership, and service. Would those new members of Omicron Delta Kappa please stand? Mortar Board recognizes seniors for distinguished achievement in scholarship, leadership, and service. Would our Mortar Board members stand? And Phi Kappa Phi recognizes the top 10% of seniors and the very top juniors in scholarship. Would members of Phi Kappa Phi please stand? Now, let's recognize all these students with a round of applause. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, I'd like to begin the recognition of our award recipients by asking Barbara Patterson to make our first presentation. Academic excellence for sororities recognizes the sorority with the highest grade point average for spring 22 and fall 22. Maintaining a standard of excellence in scholarship is the goal of every sorority. I am pleased to recognize Alpha Gamma Delta for her attainments. Congratulations. Excellence in academics is the goal of every fraternity man on campus. The Acad Academic Excellence Award for fraternities recognizes the fraternity with the highest grade point average for spring 22 and fall 22. I am pleased to recognize Alpha Tau Omega for earning this award. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. The Outstanding Freshman Award is given annually by the Troy Chapter of National Alpha Lambda Delta. It goes to a current freshman student who demonstrates a devotion to academic excellence 
and co-curricular involvement and achievement. Tonight's recipient is Mr. Thomas Baker, a political science major and a global scholar in the College of Arts and Sciences. The Nolan C. Hatcher Outstanding International Student Award is given annually to the international student undergraduate student who graduates during the past academic year earning the highest grade point average. This year's recipient is Biwaksha Shrishta, a May 2022 accounting graduate with a 4.0 GPA. Phi Kappa Phi is an interdisciplinary honor society. It recognizes academic excellence in all fields of study. It was founded in 1897 and has chapters in over 300 colleges, universities in the United States, as well as international chapters. Membership is by invitation only and is extended to the top 10% of our seniors, graduate students, and juniors, as well as faculty, alumni, and professionals who have achieved scholarly distinction. We recognize two students from Troy, a junior and a senior with the highest GPA. Our junior award goes to Emma Thomason. Uh, she couldn't be here today. And our senior award goes to Ashley Ginver. The Teresa Penn Rogers Excellence in Student Advising Award is designated to recognize one Troy University faculty or staff member annually for their dedication to student success through effective student advising. The award is named for Teresa Penn Rogers who faithfully served Troy University and its students for over 30 years in a variety of key student success roles, including that of advisor, and who consistently advocated for the needs of students. Tonight's recipient is Dr. Gina Mariano, the Associate Professor of Psychology. Dr. Mariano was nominated by her department chair, Dr. Frank Hammonds, in recognition of her outstanding efforts in assisting students to be academic, academically successful at the university. Dr. Mariano, are you here? Well, we're gonna honor her anyway. A round of applause, please. <laughs> You never know, you're just sitting out in the audience and somebody calls your name. Congratulations, Dr. Mariano. Well, I'm Dr. Richard Scott Noakes. I have the honor of serving as the Troy University Faculty Senate President this year. The Robert Kruckerberg Faculty Senate Excellence Award is named to honor a former colleague and dedicated faculty Senate member. And it recognizes 
excellent in non-tenure track faculty achievement in all three standards of our profession, teaching, research, and service. This year's honoree has been a lecturer with the School of Music with Troy University since 2011, though he began his career at the university three years earlier as an adjunct instructor. He started the Troy Guitar Festival for young guitar students from across the nation. According to Dr. Govid Menon, who, nominate, who nominated him, the festival, quote, provides invaluable experiences for our students while also showcasing the vitality of the music program and our beautiful campus to our guests. I think we all agree it's a beautiful campus. Our winner also has an active schedule of solo concerts and master classes at locations like the Orange County G Guitar Circle, the Rainey Douglas School of Arts, the University of Montevallo, Oklahoma City College, and the San Antonio Guitar Festival. He also has performed with the Symphony Band, the Concert Chorale, and faculty rock and jazz bands. He's devoted himself to growing the guitar program here at Troy, teaching applied guitar, music theory, string pedagogy, and guitar ensemble to dedicated students. Overall, our winner demonstrates the excellence in teaching, research, and service that is the hallmark of Kruckerberg Award honorees. Please join me in congratulating the 2023 Faculty Senate Excellence Award winner, Dr. Robert Gibson. It is my pleasure to present this year's Ingalls Award. The Ingalls Award is given annually to a Troy University, Troy campus faculty member who demonstrates instructional expertise, creativity, and innovation in their classroom, making learning engaging, vibrant, and relevant for students, and inspires and mentors students. The significance of this award is that it is student-driven. Students nominate faculty, and a committee of students elected by their peers recommends to the Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs and the Chancellor, the faculty who best fits these criteria. The Ingalls symbolizes the primary mission of the university, that of teaching. Great teachers are known as much for the questions that they ask as for the answers that they provide. Our most enduring example of this method of teaching is Socrates. It is for this reason we present a statue of Socrates to the recipient of the Ingalls Award for Excellence in Classroom Teaching. In addition to the statue of Socrates, the recipient of the award also receives a plaque and a check for $1,000. This year's recipient is a member of the College of Communications and Fine Arts and serves as an instructor in the Department of Theater and Dance. Please join me in recognizing the 2022-2023 Ingalls Award winner, Mr. James Boyd. I'd ask Mr. Boyd to please come forward to receive his recognition. At this time, I will ask Dr. Hawkins to return to the podium so that he can present this year's Algernon Sidney Sullivan Award. 
<laughs> Thank you, Dr. Tatum. And as we close this event, let me again congratulate all of those students who uh, stood tonight and, and those faculty and staff members who were recognized. I often say, and this is to repeat what I say every day, and the most important thing we do is to serve students. That is number one. We can't do that, though, unless we do number two very well and that is select and appoint outstanding faculty and staff. And I think you would agree that uh, we are blessed by having a lot of really great and dedicated people. Let's recognize them for what they do. Thank you, thank you so much. It, it's indeed an honor as we, we close tonight's uh, event with uh, the recognition of what I think is most important in life, and that is characterized as nobility of character. Who are you when no one is watching? And that's what this recognition is as that I'm about to present. It was in 1981 that Troy University was approved by the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Foundation to grant awards that celebrate nobility of character by identifying individuals who perpetuate the influence of Algernon Sidney Sullivan and Mary Mildred Sullivan through outstanding spiritual qualities applied to daily living. A committee of faculty members, one administrator and two students are, that are elected by our SGA, they select the award recipients. Awards are given to one female student, one male student, and one non-student. And each recipient receives a university citation and a medallion and a citation from the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Foundation. We think it's appropriate that Troy University award the Sullivan Awards because of its focus on leadership. I believe one of the great challenges we face in this society today is leadership. And real leadership is about bringing people together, not dividing them. And that, I, that I think, is representative, uh, represented in this award. Leaders with well-defined values is what this country needs to perpetuate this thing that we take for granted called a democracy. We believe those we'll recognize tonight will contribute greatly to the preservation of that which we hold dear, and that is that democracy, this great land that we call home. The female recipient of the award is a native of Burke, Virginia. She has a 4.0 GPA and has applied to OCS, but that may be sidelined because she has just received an exciting offer from ATF, a national organization dedicated to alcohol tobacco and firearms. She's an SGA Supreme Court Justice and a member of five honor societies. Oh, I would have been so proud to have been a member of five honor societies as an undergraduate. And the social fraternity of Alpha Omega, Omicron Pi, AO Pi as we lovingly refer to it. She's active at the First Methodist Church as a Bible study leader and a Sunday school teacher. We want to welcome her parents, too, who come to us all the way from the Bahamas, Charlie and Michelle Scarber. Our female recipient is Lexi or Alexandra Scarber. Lexi. The male recipient is a native of Dauphin, and he carries a 3.5 GPA. 
I think is a wonderful representative of Troy University. He serves as a Trojan ambassador, often welcoming people to campus, including to the chancellor's home. He is a hardworking student worker in the admissions office where he gives tours to prospective students. He serves as a leader for impact, which is a critical part of our summer orientation program for incoming students. He's worked as a counselor for Living Stones, a Christian retreat. We're delighted that his parents, Mr. and Mrs. James Dawsey, could be with us tonight. Our male recipient of the Sullivan Award is Joshua Dawsey. Our non-student recipient, she's a faculty member in the Department of Teacher Education in our College of Education, and I might remind you that it was in 1887 our College of Education was the very first college at this university, and we have continued to teach outstanding teachers ever since. In fact, I'm often told by superintendents and principals that if they have an opportunity to hire a Troy teacher, they seize that opportunity. We're so proud of the quality of the teachers and school leaders that come from Troy University. This lady is no exception. She has two degrees from Troy. She learned in the, in the, out in the battlefield. She was in K through 12 education for 22 years before bringing that uh, experience into the classroom. We're so proud that she serves as advisor to Kappa Delta Pi and to the Student Alabama Education Association group. She's described as a leader who spends countless hours advising and mentoring and serving as a role model to our students in addition to her classroom work. We're very proud and to host tonight her parents too, Jim and Debbie Chance, who've been great supporters of Troy University for many, many years. Our non-student recipient of the Sullen of Award is Miss Kathy Lott. <laughs> Again, we want to extend our congratulations to all our honorees, their families, and thank you for joining us on this very special evening.